Hello guys. For today's video, I'm going to be do making a Lego sandwich. So, um, sorry, burger. These are the parts you'll need. You'll need two of these 2x2 two two beige plates. Two of these f green flower studs. One 1x1 one one green tile. And one green one green stud. A 2x2 two two red circle plate. A brown 2x2 two two circle plate. And a yellow 2x2 two two yellow plate. The brown plate and the yellow plate didn't come apart, so I left them together like this. This is how you're going to have to put them on. So this will be the bun, and it goes right under the burger like that. And so that's the burger and that's the cheese. And then on top of the cheese, you can put the lettuce. You can make it in any way you like. I use these bricks bricks to um as a pattern i thought it looked nice and then this is the tomato so you gotta put the tomato on and then the second bun on the top compared to a lego figure it's bigger than its head it can still hold it though somehow like that it's really oversized so in the next video probably I'll teach you how to do sliders so they're smaller or mini figure sized burgers so this is good for some display you could put it on your shelf like somewhere if you want it to be there and so, this, for the second part of this video, I'm going to teach you how to make two of these awesome Lego guns you can use in your stop motion animations. And I'll probably do a tutorial on that soon. And a holder for your guns. So first, the holder. It only takes two pieces. This, um... I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a piece that has a stud, and it can be put around the minifigure's neck, so, like, you would put it on the minifigure, put on its head and its hair or helmet, if you want hair or helmet, and then you would take this one by one square clip plate, and then put it on the back like this. Now, the first gun, this is my favorite one, you're going to need this, sorry, this um, pistol with uh, two front shooting parts, whatever they are, and then a minifigure hand in dark gray, What? Well, and it also depends on what color gun you're using I think they only come in this dark gray color and black so you can if you're using black use a black hand or if you're using dark gray use a gray hand so you would attach it like that on the bottom clip and then you would take a lightsaber rod I couldn't find a lightsaber rod that was Similar enough to this, so I use this black, and it still looked pretty nice for like an assault rifle. And now you would take your minifigure with the clip on the back and clip it on like that. And the second gun here is like a flamethrower. So the back of it, the um, tank with the fuel for the flames you'd only need this brick tall cylinder plate and 
this like almost like a horn piece or a faucet piece and then you would take oops you would take the cylinder and put it right there and you would need one of these guns that shoots out these this one we found it didn't have that if you wanted to shoot this then you would have to add the thing that goes in between here I like to keep the thing off because then it prevents me from losing my parts so then you would just attach this to the back of that gun just like that and then you can clip it on Just like that it looks a little strange so you could clip it on different ways like um, like this maybe or you can tilt it like that if you wanted to anyway thanks for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed this video if you're if you watch this and you don't really need the things in here, but a friend might want some of these pieces or learn how to build some of this content. Then share this video with your friends. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe for more content. Bye.